Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll share some tips and tricks you can try out on the camera UI on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So Redmi Note 9 Pro comes with a quad or rear camera. So it, we have a 48 megapixel sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, an upgraded 5 megapixel depth sensor, and a 2 megapixel portrait sensor is also included. You get a, a punch hole uh, selfie camera as well. Now there are lots of things uh, new in the camera UI. So we'll have a uh, walkthrough of the camera interface, what all you can do, what all features it offer. That's what we're going to do in this video. So let's open the camera UI. So this is the camera UI of uh, the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So if you look at the camera UI, you can see that this is uh, the typical UI which we see on all the Xiaomi smartphones. But here are a few options additionally added. So we'll analyze all those things. So if you look at the top, you can see that the HDR and AI mode. So AI mode basically gets you uh, the images based on now uh, what you're shooting. So if you want that option, you can turn on the AI mode. Now there is one additional feature here. So here we have an additional feature. This is called the pro color mode. So if you if you turn on this on, you can see that pro color mode enable. So while doing the camera review, we mentioned about this pro color mode. What it does is uh, it actually boosts the color uh, on the photos. This is basically useful if you are doing a lot of social sharing, for example, Instagram or Facebook. Then this pro color mode gets you vibrant and uh, colorful images uh, uh, from this device. So that's another feature included. Now, if you tap on this star icon, you can see there are lots of uh, uh, filters available. So you can choose the filters. If you want to apply filters for, uh, say, for example, your Instagram uh, stories, you can just enable these filters. And there is also beauty mode included. Now, if you go to the uh, all settings, so here uh, you can see that uh, there is a macro mode enabled. So macro mode, you can take uh, pictures as close as 2.5 centimeter. And we have done, uh, uh, we have taken some really good macro shots uh, and uh, it has come really well. So macro is one of the highlights of this device. The upgraded uh, 5 megapixel macro sensor does a really good job here. So that's the macro mode on this uh, device. Now next uh, let's go to the bottom section so here we have uh, the video mode and video mode uh, we have uh, three options uh, one is 1080p at 30fps so if you have a you can have a closer look so you can see here 1080p at 30fps if you tap on it 1080p at 60fps uh, if you again tap on it you can see 4k at 30fps and then it comes back to 720p at 30fps so the ideal recording suited uh, for most of us is like 1080p at 30fps because that's the only uh, uh, video recording which has electronic image stabilization enabled so if you want electronic image stabilization go with 1080p at 30fps so even macro mode gets uh, you can uh, record videos in macro as well that is again 1080p at 30fps and if you go to the ultra wide angle camera there also you can record a video quality in uh, 1080p at 30fps with electronic image stabilization enabled now if you want to go to the ultra wide angle camera you can see this is the icon just tap on it uh, and you can see this 0.6x that is uh, the ultra wide angle camera and you can go to up to 2x or manually zoom in uh, the video so that's the options available now if you go to the settings here you can see there is a movie mode available so movie mode uh, what it does is you can see that uh, shoot in landscape uh, with this movie mode you can get um, uh, 21 is to 9 aspect ratio uh, i mean cinematic uh, video you can take again you get uh, 1080p at 30 fps with electronic image stabilization so this is something which we have mentioned even in our camera review now there is another feature called short video so short video has been there for uh, uh, quite some time so what you can do here is that if you just tap on this icon you can see that you can take short video in super slow motion slow motion regular fast and super fast so uh, based on how you want the short video say for example uh, a lot of us uh, share videos on instagram so short videos are quite handy for instagram uh, you can uh, you can see that it's it's kind of 15 second videos that's why it's called the short video and you can record in super slow motion slow motion regular fast and even super fast motion you can record it so that's another useful feature now this is something uh, the speed then you can also see that there is a kaleidoscope available you can select uh, which all you want and then uh, be record uh, videos based on that so that's the uh, short video mode then uh, here you can see you can also select the background music for the short video uh, whenever you are uploading videos to Instagram, background music is kind of useful. So you can just select background music from here. So that's the short video option. Then uh, if you go to the slow motion, 
So slow motion again, you can see that the top uh, there is an option called 960 frames per second. That's a super slow motion available. Then if you tap on it, you get 120 FPS and 240 FPS. So if you want regular slow motion, go with either 240 or 120 FPS. 240 is uh, at 720p, 120 is at uh, 1080p and uh, you also get 960 FPS. That's a super slow motion available. So these are the options available in the uh, slow motion. Now you also get a 48 megapixel mode. What it does is it, uh, it takes pictures in ultra HD. So you get uh, high resolution images which also have higher uh, uh, picture size almost like uh, close to 15 uh, MB in size. Uh, that's the ultra uh, HD option. So if you want the high resolution images go with this uh, option. Now if you go to the portrait mode. So we all like uh, taking portrait images. So uh, you can see that uh, there is some options including AI mode. Now you can, you can also go with uh, the cinematic portraits or the movie mode. Uh, in movie portraits you can see that uh, how you get uh, some really good uh, portraits uh, in the uh, widescreen format or 21 is to 9 aspect ratio. You can get some really good portraits. So we have also covered this in our uh, camera review. Now one important feature about the Redmi Note 9 Pro is that uh, the Pro mode. Now, why Pro Mode is important? Because you have seen Pro Mode in all the phones uh, which have uh, uh, good cameras. So Pro Mode is nothing new. But what is new here is that you can actually uh, uh, do Pro Mode in video recording. That's something which is really important because even flagship cameras or flagship smartphones do not have this feature. Uh, many of them do not have this Pro Mode in video recording only limited to the photos. So here we have Pro Mode, you can select the lens, wide angle, ultra wide angle, macro sensor. You can go with uh, uh, the uh, wide balance, uh, uh, shutter speed, ISO, exposure. So all these things can be adjusted here uh, in the Pro Mode. That's something which is really good uh, with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro. Now if you go to settings, so uh, just select the settings and uh, here we have lots of additional options. One is make sure you turn on the correct distortion in uh, ultra wide angle shot. So ultra wide angle camera often have a bit of distortion towards the edges. So you can correct distortion uh, in the ultra wide angle shots by enabling this option and correct face distortion in group photos. So that is also uh, enabled. Uh, you can enable it if you want some really good uh, group photos. Then uh, you have the regular options like you can save the uh, previous mode. That means uh, if you have selected a, or set some options in the camera settings, you can always uh, go with that uh, particular mode. That's uh, the save previous mode option. So these are some options available. Uh, you can also enable watermark uh, for the photos. Now another important feature is that uh, you get uh, slow motion even for the front camera. So that's something which is uh, quite handy if you want to take slow motion uh, selfies that option is also included just turn on the uh, selfie camera and you can go to the slow motion mode. So these are some of the tips and tricks you can try out uh, on uh, the camera on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. This is Zimra signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.